Well, good afternoon and welcome to Shaw Street Memorial United Methodist Church Midday Meditation and Prayer Time. As always, our devotional is taken from the upper room. Today, Tuesday, August 13, 2024, our devotion is titled Comfort from the Storms. The suggested reading is Psalm 3, verses 1 through 5. Our scripture for this devotional is Psalms 3, verse 3, which reads, You, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. Again, that's Psalms 3, and that was from the NIV. Our devotional, a springtime storm has crashed through, crashed through our area, on our area the previous night, leaving a rare path of destruction in our mountainous area. As I sat on my front porch, I thank God that no one had been injured. Chilled, I remember inside. I returned inside where a cup of creamy hot chocolate soon warned me. As I read my devotional for the day, I realized that the scripture and devotional message were doing the same thing for my weary spirit. I faced storms of my own lately. I retired unexpectedly after a stroke when I really wanted to work just a little longer and I felt purposeless. Then my 98 year old mother and one of my best friends passed away in the span of two weeks. Two of the people I talked to, talked with regularly were suddenly gone and I was feeling numb and devastated. Just like the warmth of a cup of hot chocolate, when I read scripture, the warmth of God's love fills my soul. I'm reminded that although people have to leave us and jobs may be lost, God will never leave us. God will be there every step of the way to fill our empty hearts and to help us find new purpose. Our prayer, loving God, thank you for loving us and sending your Holy Spirit to help, get, to help us get through stormy days of life. May we find purpose in sharing your words with others. Amen. Our thought for the day, reading God's word will help me through the storms of life. And our prayer focus, those recovering from storms. This concludes our meditation. Momentarily, the lines will be open. We'll share our joys, concerns, and prayer requests.